Hey everybody, so welcome to part dos, okay? Part two is basically, I just wanna talk about the maintenance, okay? The maintenance for this hair is very simple, okay? I do not twist this hair at night, no, okay? In the clip, I'm gonna show you, or on the side over here, or whatever, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I do, okay? I get a, a silk bonnet that I purchased from Flor, I think Florabella or Florabella. Um, you can find her on the website. She's on Instagram and stuff like that. She makes those big, huge bonnets like other people do, you know, probably like ebony bonnets and stuff like that, but I got this from Florabella. And um, the bonnet is huge, so I put that on. Um, I'll show you how I put it on. I put it, I just stuff all the hair in there, just stuff it on in there, and go to bed, okay? And the bonnet is huge. It fits in any type of hair, big puff, long, whatever it is, it fits, okay? It fits all the hair in there, okay? Take it down. I just shake, you know, if it, if it need to be um, sprayed up with some coconut oil or some you know coconut oil and spray just plain coconut oil i spray it and go if not it's fine okay if it looks dry that's what i do whatever like that like before this video i sprayed some stuff on it because it was looking dry i felt a little dry now i feel a little better it may look a little dry still but you know whatever whatever you know i haven't sprayed it you know in a, in a while so it needed to be revised a little bit so that's that's what you do with that if you want it you know you can use you don't have to use coconut oil unless you allergic to it you know and you only spray it on your on this hair you're not spraying on the scalp unless you really unless you want to you know that's your oil of choice um you can use evo or whatever oil you got around the house i'm not saying to go out there and purchase you know coconut oil but that's what i use you can use shea butter whatever you feel as though that you know you want to use or whatever you can grab at the time okay so um I just put it in a regular spray bottle on um, something like this, like a spray bottle mixed with, you know, water or because, you know, coconut oil, you know, um, gets to a solid sometimes. So you got to mix it up so it can be able to spray. My other bottles in the bathroom, I don't, um, uh, I don't have it with me, but that's basically about that. Um, you got scragglies at the end. You're going to use regular scissors. Um, I don't go and use your you know your shears that you use for your your natural hair because um you may not saying you might damage it but that's just for your natural hair this is not your hair so um using regular house scissors you know hardware scissors you get from home depot is fine you know the blue scissors you see in my video all the time use those scissors that's fine you don't have to you know get any shears unless if that's all you have that's okay too you know that's all you have but if you don't have that you don't have to go to the store go to sally's and you know get you know any you know shears like that because you don't you don't need that just use some regular around the house scissors okay that you open up a box with okay so, you know <laughs> you don't have to get fancy unless you unless you want to that's that's just you do you boo -boo, okay i'm not telling you what to do but that's this is what i do okay is to make life simpler okay um <laughs> that's just me um what else um uh, yeah and then oh when i get in the shower i have as you guys can see i'm gonna show i'm gonna show that too um, I have my bonnet on, so I have a big shower cap as well. That big shower cap I purchased from Sally's, okay? That shower cap is huge. It's great to use if you have, you know, jumbo braids or poetic justice braids, Havana long twists, whatever you want to call them, or big hair. Put that on. That That is a huge. So you put that over the head, and you're good, okay? So I put that over the bonnet, and I'm fine. So I'm good. So take that off and whatever like that and go on my day. Okay, so I'm fine with the covering the hair in the shower because I don't want to get it wet and stuff like that. So my hair is very secure. Okay. All right. So that's basically about that. Um, so that's it for the tips for, for crochet for I mean I'm sorry for the maintaining the hair. Um, I really don't have to do anything. I don't twist it at night unless you really want to. Okay, I don't I don't twist it at night. Um brushing the hair, I do use a paddle brush. I got hair on it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. That's crazy. Um, it's synthetic hair. But, um, I use this hair. I'm sorry. I use this brush, this paddle brush. I do brush it every now and again. Not all the time. I don't brush it every day. I brush it when it looks a little, like, crazy. The ends looking crazy. I'm like, oh, let me. Or if I feel that it's getting too tight or matted. Um, or I just sit here and go like this. Fluff it out like this. If I don't want to brush it, you know, I just pull stuff apart and spray using the coconut oil and the water and make it a little bit more looser and go like that, okay? And make it, you know, so it won't be all stiff. Because it did feel stiff earlier, but 
um, I did spray some stuff on it to make it more pliable. Okay, so that's basically it. And I don't, I don't brush, I don't brush my hair. I don't, I don't do that all the time because you know I could lose a lot of hair and shedding, and I might got time for all that. Um, this hair does get scraggly and does shed. Um, so please be aware that this is synthetic, you know, hair, um, kinky hair. So that's gonna happen. Um, as the weeks go by or the days go by, you will see yourself cutting, you know, the ends and the scraggly ends. So the hair will be getting shorter. If you don't care about that, and you want to leave them then leave them and don't cut it because if you don't want the hair to get too short um i don't want it to get too short this is a good length right here so i'll just leave it like this and um, if i see any, any scragglies that's fine i won't cut anymore because i'm going to be cutting it too short and it's not what i want so this is this is great um before it was longer than this like probably a little bit longer probably like this i guess and then as the days went by i you know i, I, I was trying to shape it to how i want it so the shape is pretty good I, I think it's cool for me you know anybody else that's you know it, it depends on how you want to do it how you want to shape it you know and when i cut it i do cut it on an angle you know, so it won't be no blunt cuts unless that's the look you're looking for but that's not the look i'm looking for so um if you're not looking for that look, I suggest that you cut it down this way, like that. So you can have the layered look or a shaped look. But if you like that blunt look, then just cut it straight across and be done with it, you know. is is your hair, you know, you gotta wear it, you know. So, it's cool. Um, but I'm just sharing tips of what I, you know, what I do. Um, what else? Um, that's basically it. So, um, yeah, the knotless part, I did a tutorial on it. Um, I'm gonna do it up close so you guys can see a little bit. Um, this is what it looks like as it gets older. It looks better. It looks really really better. Um, it looks more like your hair. So um, I'm gonna show you see the knots right here. That's the real crochet knots like the you know the real real, you know, so Okay So there's some parts where you don't I don't have the uh let me see. Oh, here we go. Okay, this this is a part here that I could part right here. Cause I gotta find the parts. Cause I didn't, you know. So that's a part right here that I could part. Okay. So there's just like certain places that I made a part, as you guys can see. And so you can have different as opposed to having you know just one you know just one part so you know if you want to you know if you're going out or if you want to make it look you know like something different or whatever like that you know that's a different part right here so you just do what you got to do okay you just you just you just fix it up how you want it okay like that all right so that's that's it for that you know and you just fluff it out and you good okay so um yeah so that's a, that's another part right there um, like I said before, the older it gets, the better it looks, okay? And as you guys can see on the side, um, you guys see what the side is looking like here, okay? And what the side is looking like here. Alright, this is what the side's looking like, okay? Then I'm going to show you the top part here where a row is not done, Okay? Oh Lord, okay, let me see. Let me see if I can show y'all. Um I don't know if y'all can see, but this row is not done. Yeah, right here, as you guys can see, there's no crochet here, no hair here. Um I wrapped some hair around because I didn't want it to be shown. But um Yeah, this row is not done here. As you guys can see, there's no crochet part on there. Okay, so that's how it is. All right, so that's what it is. And um, this is the hair. And this is what it looks like in the back. If you pull it up, I'll show y'all the back. You guys can see the back. All right. Um, so that's basically it you guys. Yeah, so all I gotta say is um, yeah, uh I think it's gonna be a part three because I was showing y'all, you know, um, I'm just doing too much talking. Um, so Yeah, so it's gonna be a part three. 
okay and that's gonna be the last part uh, because I see the time I still got some more stuff to talk about because this is crazy it's like it's like it's like I haven't seen y'all in a minute so um, one more this is gonna be a last section and then that's it I just want to show you guys the hair you know how it looks or what have, what have you okay and just talk a little bit more about it and I should be done this is the third um, uh, this is part two. Stay tuned for part three, okay? So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please ask you. Know, ask comment below the video in the box. Or yes, for my key, I just said, I'm going to you for watching.